Fellas, let's face it, most of us don't know how to match colors to our skin or match colors properly anyway. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you some of my cheat codes and hacks. Today's episode was brought to you by my new book, Why Style Matters, The Mindset of Dressing Well and How It Impacts Your Life. To get your autographed copy, click the link in the description. On today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you five unconventional places of matching your skin tone. Let's go. What's up, fellas? It's your boy, Assign the Style Jumper, your guide to personal style. If you're new to the channel, we release videos where we discuss topics like style, confidence, and etiquette. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we release our next video. Murals and graffiti. Guys, this is a great place to look at and check out because there's so much going on, right? All these colors and all of us, let's face it, when we see some really nice graffiti or mural, we want to take a picture by it, right? And the reason is those colors are pulling you in. So while you're there, definitely kind of look at your skin, see if these colors look good on you. And obviously when you check those pictures out, you will know it's gonna be drawing you to those colors. Also, what they need to consider is that a lot of those colors contradict themselves. So you're like, man, I didn't even realize those colors look great together. But definitely check out those murals and graffiti. Greeting cards. Now, the thing about greeting cards is there's a lot of science and research that goes into putting greeting cards together, right? There's, you know, cultural, there's holidays, there's all these different events that happens, it's stopping your eye, right? You're walking down the aisle and you see this greeting card and you're reading, obviously under pressure, right? And you're like, man, those colors look good or the message, right? So it's not just the writing on those cards, it's the colors that pull you to it. So whether that's an image or the font, it's gonna help you understand and appreciate those unconventional colors by picking it up and grabbing it with your hand, you'll be able to see if that looks good on you. Books and magazine covers. Now, speaking of walking out aisles, right? So whether you're at the grocery store or you're in the bookstore, there's so much color that you can find in those books and magazines. So whether if it's a book that's just colors and a font contrast, as well as the magazine, whether there's an image on that magazine and there's a lot of background, Everyone who's worked on this project, they spent a lot of time, they understand the psychology of color and the science of color to help you understand and draw you to that book or magazine. So again, when you're picking it up or when you're walking by, put your hand by that book cover or magazine cover and see how you feel and those colors may work on you. Interior design. I love architecture and design. So you might see me walking down uh, the aisle again, looking at magazines with architecture. I'm always on Pinterest checking out colorways because they have color palettes and all these different colors that'll match in that interior design. So if you have an opportunity, if you go to a furniture store, go and sit down, see how those colors look because obviously if you're thinking about your space at home you're thinking huh i like this color or i like this look and the reason is because it's appealing to you and usually if it's appealing to you it's probably going to look great on you as well women's makeup and clothing <laughs> guys i know you're like what are you talking about Hassan? so here's the deal with women's makeup they are the masters of matching color right because they spent years and years and years in those companies, years and millions and millions of dollars doing research on color, right? And basically looking at the skin specifically and what colors look great with skin. And then the women's clothing. Women look amazing in color, right? That's what, you know, they have their perfume, they have their hair, and then they have the colors that they wear and the makeup that they wear that draw us to them, right? So pay attention. When you're in the mall or if you're going shopping, peruse and walk through the women's section and pay attention to how those individuals who put the clothes together and all those branding material, see how they put it together and you can use some of those same colors. I'm positive that those colors 
that these ladies are putting together will look good on you just as well. Today's cheat code. Fellas, today's cheat code is you gotta learn how to iron. I've been ironing clothes since I was eight or nine years old. My mom made me learn how to iron. Obviously, I hated it, but it's such a great skill set to have. I can teach my kids. Whenever I'm traveling, I don't have to worry about ironing. And when I get ready to go to work or go out, I can iron my clothes if my clothes did not make the cleaners. So learn how to iron. It's a master cheat code, and I promise you, the ladies will love it. If you want to see what I'm wearing on a day-to-day -day basis, check out my Instagram. There you'll find a ton of looks or maybe some inspiration. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you have any questions or suggestions, leave it in the comments below. And if you like this content, fellas, share it with your stylish friends. And remember, when you leave home today, walk out with style, confidence, and etiquette. And fellas, learning how to match colors with your skin tone is a master skill. Take these cheat codes and continue to be the best and look your best. And I'll see you on the next one.